hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting sql problem so please watch this video at the end you will learn lots of things so let's start the video first discuss the question so basically i have one table table name is puzzle so here you can see that in the puzzle table having two column id and input correct so id as a like incremental order like one two three four like that is the id and second one is the input input like double a a then b b then c d d e correct so what is my expected output so here you can see that in the puzzle table so a a this one is the duplicate so a a into the output and this one is the like a first uh, like character as a, a then second character as a b so first character as a a so i'll given the result as a duplicate dup one one correct now go with the b b is also duplicate so i will getting the b is the duplicate to and b also duplicate to okay now c only one time in the puzzle table so this one is a not duplicate so c will be null or you can set the any value okay is not duplicate like that so c is the not is the not duplicate so result is the null d also duplicate value so i'll uh, so b is the duplicate two so d1 is the duplicate three and last one is the e only single value single character so this one is null correct so let's start the video how we can solve this problem basically in this part is the tricky part to set the null value okay so let's start the video how we can solve this problem so first i have to run this puzzle table so this one my entire data set correct id and input so i have to use select select input from puzzle table correct and i have to count the how many times this a b or c appear in this uh, like uh, in the uh, puzzle table so i have to use here count one as count as count i have to use here aggregation so i have to use here group by group by input okay so if i run this one so here you can see that i will getting the a two times b two times c one times d again two times and e only one times so i need only duplicate values like a b and d okay so i have to use here one more condition as a having condition having count of one or you can use count of star count of star is greater than one so if i run i will get the a b and d so if i run so now here you can see that i will get the input a b d and count as a two and now i have to find the rank okay so first i have to uh, create the like ct with ct as i have to close this bracket select star from ct so if i run i will get the same output okay so now i have to find the rank or you can find the row number also not the big issue so i have to find the rank here rank over order by order by input so what i'll get uh, as a rank so a rank as a one b rank as a two and d rank as a three okay and i have to give alias as rank rnk so if i run so now here you can see that i will get the rank a as a one b as a two and d as a three okay so i'll get the this one is the duplicate so i have to add dupe or duplicate in the prefix uh, in the rank column so i have to use here duplicate d u p duplicate and i have to use plus concatenation and i have to use i have to cast this one because rank as an integer okay otherwise i'll get the error so i have to use cast cast as var care cast as var care and i have to rename this column as a output column okay output column so if i run here so now here you can see that i'll get the input this one is the duplicate one b is the duplicate two and d is the duplicate three correct so i don't need this count column so i have to use here only input correct input and duplicate 
now i have to join with the main table this one is my puzzle table correct i have to join with the this puzzle table with left join okay so i have to join with the this input as this input so i'll get all the data all the input details correct so i have to use here final cte final cte as this final ct as this so i have to use select star from puzzle puzzle i have to give alias as a p and i have to use left join so i'll get all the data from the puzzle table and uh, matching data in the right table also we can say final underscore ct table also okay so i have to use left join final underscore ct as f on i have to join with the puzzle table p dot input p dot this one p dot input p dot input equals to and and final underscore ct f dot input correct so if i run this one so now here you can see that i'll get the all the values for the so i need only this input column and this output column correct so i have to use here puzzle p dot input and one more column i need p dot input and f dot output column so if i run so now here you can see that i will get the a a this one is the duplicate so i'll get the duplicate one b b is the duplicate so i'll get the duplicate two c is the not duplicate i'll getting here null d is the duplicate so i'll getting the duplicate three e as a no duplicate i'll get in i will getting the null so here you can see that i will get the expected output so i hope you understand this video if you still have doubt please comment on the below if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye